good freaking morning, everybody. Today, we have metal. Metal. And with this metal, I am gonna make some fenders, some rear fenders for the Jeep. I got the front ones all. I bought some front ones off a guy. Um, today, I'm gonna make some rear ones, some rear ones that I can uh, step on and like get up on the roof rack a lot easier. So that's the plan for today, is to make some freaking nice fenders. And uh, I don't know how I'm gonna make them, but I figured I get this. I don't have a tube bender, so I got solid half inch metal here. And I'm just gonna bend it. So hopefully they come out halfway decent. And they look good. So let's get to it. <laughs> so first off, I'm gonna build a little tape guide of how I want the fenders to kind of look on here. And then they're giving you kind of an idea how I would want to bend or how I would want to bend the tube and bake the fenders. So first off, tape. Okay, so here's how I'm kind of gonna do it. I'm just basically gonna have a bar that comes out, just maybe like a little bit from here, and then it gets gradually, gradually a little bit bigger, and it's gonna be up to about four inches up here. It's gonna be flat up here so I can step on it. It'd be so much easier to get up on the roof rack, so it's gonna be flat right there. It comes across all this flat, and it starts to curve back down. And as it curves back down, it gets a little smaller and smaller, but it's not gonna be as close to the body on the back as the front, because right here I want like a little step. So also I can just like step up there, you know? So that's how I'm kind of thinking about how I'm gonna do this, but who knows how it's actually gonna come out, because, you know, it changes when you start making it, but that's the kind of idea that I have going on here. So let's cut some metal and try it.
All right, Tatum's in there right now, uh, cleaning up the cuts with the torch. And uh, I'll get back to you guys when we have it all welded up and kind of the idea of what we want to do. So I'll see you guys then. Okay, so here's what the finished product looks like, except for when it's not painted. And um, this is where we got done today, just one side. Uh, my friend, he has to go out, out of state. No, <laughs> but we're gonna finish the rest uh, in a couple weeks from now, so I won't have him bolted on for a little while. So I'll show you a picture of the one that we got done on the side right now. It's the next day now. And um, yeah, like I said earlier, uh, we just built that one fender. So in two more weeks, I'll have the rest of this video. I'll do a part two, I guess, of the rest of this video to make the other side of the fenders and I'll paint them and everything. And then I'll, I'll throw those on, but this weekend I got some stuff coming up and uh, another video. I might go find some hot springs I heard about, but you'll see in the video if I do or not. And then um, the next weekend after that is when we're going to get going on the fenders again. So super pumped about that. Those things will be super helpful, useful, instead of just standing on the tire. The roof rack's like right here to my face and then the fender's about this much higher, so it'd be like there. I can get ev get at everything I need on the roof rack. It'll just be a lot more uh, useful for me. So that's going to be it for this video. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.